So in this week's video, we're talking about how to shoot a product in your living room with only one light. Hey guys, it's Todd here. It's so great to see everyone again. In this week's video, I wanted to share with you the steps that I took in order to shoot a product inside my home in my living room with only one light. It was a lot of fun. It's the first time I've ever done something like this. So we'll see how it turns out, but um, I hope you enjoy it and uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. I do want to give one disclaimer. I am not sponsored by Blue Moon Beer Company at all. Um, I just happen to like their logo, I like the colors. It's a very nice looking bottle, so that's why I chose it. Uh, not to mention it tastes pretty good as well. So recently I've been doing a lot of compositing, uh, something I really enjoy doing. Um, I do those composites in, within Photoshop. So, you know, I love video, I love photography, I love uh, all of Adobe's products, including Photoshop. And so this week I thought I'd combine all those passions together into one creative video. Now, I did get this idea from another YouTuber. Um, his name is Peter Lindgren. He has some great tutorials on his YouTube channel. You know, I highly recommend you go take a look at him. Him and his buddy recently got together and did the same thing with a different type of beer. They also used a plain background for their photo. So I'm gonna do mine a little bit different as you'll see here in just a few minutes. So anyway, they, they were the ones that inspired me to do this uh, and kind of challenged me to reproduce what they did with my own little touch on it. So the first step with this process is you have to choose you know, your product. In my case, I chose the Blue Moon beer, which I described why I chose that earlier. But again, you know, I like the, the bottle, the colors on the label. Um, and then also I was thinking about the background that I wanted to use in the composite. Um, my idea was instead of having a plain background, like blue or red or whatever, like uh, Peter did in his video. I wanted to use the background more in a nighttime situation with a full moon in the back that would be illuminating the uh, blue moon beer. The second step is you want to choose your location. And in my situation, uh, my living room was handy, you know, very easily accessible, and also I'm able to control the lighting. So uh, as you'll see as we go along, uh, I used the one one light set up and also wanted to be able to darken the the room so i could get some really cool shots so that's why i chose my living room as my location but you know choose whatever's appropriate for you and for whatever lighting that you have access to the third step in this challenge that i had was to set up the scene so in this situation you know i wanted to um, use a bench to set the beer bottle on also wanted to choose a wall that was contrasting to the beer bottle so when I brought the images into Photoshop I would be able to cut out the the beer bottle um, for the compositing that I wanted to do so those were key with making this this photo shoot go well uh, the other thing I did was I got some glycerin and water mixture and I sprayed it on the bottle uh, in order to give it uh, that cold look and look like there's you know, beads all over the, the bottle, just gives it a little bit more dynamic feel. I used my Sony a6500 and I used the Sigma 56 millimeter 1.4 lens in order to capture the photos. I set the camera on a tripod and then also used the countdown timer in order to take the pictures because I didn't want um, any movement between picture to picture because of, we're going to be taking several pictures. I wanted them all to match up inside of Photoshop in order to make the compositing a lot easier. So the fourth step in this process that I've discovered was you want to take five shots. You want to move your light, you know, start out with the back light, take a picture, move your light to the right, take a picture, move it to the left, take a shot, move it above, take a shot so you'll you know light the label and the top of the, the beer bottle cap and then also just illuminate the background for your shot the fifth and final step is to take the five images that you just captured with the different lighting situations you want to import that into photoshop and also and you'll want to if you want to change the background you want to have already chosen a background that you'd like to use so you also want to import that as well. Once you get your footage imported, you want to add a mask to each layer of the, the five shots that you, that you took. And what that allows you to do is paint back in the lighting on each side 
And so at the very end, you can composite all those together and you'll have a, a bottle that looks like it's being lit from all directions even though you've only used one light. Now one of the things that you have to do is once you get your bottle lit, masked out, and lights where you want them, you'll have to cut that out uh, within Photoshop and it's, that's something that takes a little bit of practice. But um, So anyway, you want to cut your image out and then once you do that, you want to place that uh, onto your background that you've chosen. And in my situation, it's this cool road um, and then also it's at night and then you've got the moon in the background and that's pretty much it. You know, the final things that you'll need to do, uh, which we're not really gonna go into detail, but just know that it takes some work to match up the bottle with the background in terms of the colors and the shadows and the shading and things like that. So here's a before and after picture of the shot. It was a really a lot of fun to do this and, and challenge me. I've never done something like this, so um, it was nice and fun to be able to do something that's you know pretty cool. Oh, wait. This is not beer, but it is coffee. And it's in the afternoon, and I've really needed this today. Just as a side note, I started the keto diet a couple of weeks ago, so the coffee is really helping me get through the day without needing to eat lots and lots of food. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video. It was a lot of fun. Would love some feedback. I'd love for you to leave a comment on what you thought about the the video and if you're new to this channel I'd love for you to like this video I would love for you to subscribe but more importantly I would love for you to ring the bell before you leave that would be the greatest compliment to me is if you could ring that bell before you leave today again I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next week